collaborative works within the full breadth of scales. From master plans to pocket parks. Streetscapes to green rooms. We like to explore new methods and materials and ultimately create places that people remember. Hapa means many things, half, mixed, or hybrid. Hapa is also a Japanese word for a leaf. Why do I design? Because uh, I'm, I'm very interested in exploring connections between people and the things of our world and I think through the creative process and through collaboration, it's a very rewarding way of doing this. I have a background in civil engineering. When I vaguely thought what landscape architecture before was the uh, making space look cooler. But uh, when I started, it was much more than this. It was about sustainability, it was about crime prevention, it's about education for kids, it's about gender inclusivity. And see people using, and especially when they're smiling and happy, it makes me really, really happy. <laughs> Design is pretty profound, I think, as a discipline. Everything that we touch in our man-made world has been designed, and every space that we go into has been designed, and, and we are shaped by it all the time. The way that we perceive the world around us and the way that we interact with objects are all a function of that, and I'm happy to be a part of shaping the way that we interact with our world. I guess I always wanted to make meaningful spaces for people. Somewhere where they were memorable places. Like I wanted to create places that people remember and I think that's why I got into design. I wanted to um, just impact these spaces and get people drawn to them. I think there's always uh, room for improvement in the world and I think it's exciting and challenging to find um, new solutions that are outside of the box. Things that don't necessarily subscribe to traditional ways of doing things and achieving and solving problems. I like to find new ways. I've always been a bit of a rebel that way. I think everything from the smallest objects in our day-to-day -day lives to the great spaces that we visit to the national parks that we visit on holiday, they're all things that can be designed and design brings greater joy and pleasure into our everyday lives and that's why I design. <laughs> I really enjoy making things and basically the process of figuring out and drawing and working with other people to figure out how you actually build something. I've worked in a bunch of different kind of design related fields. Now I started in architecture and I worked in public art and then I moved on to landscape architecture and I think I'm interested in public space. Good question. Why do I design? I've always been interested in, in drawing, I've always been interested in working in, um, in, in space, I guess, and like architecture was kind of a draw to me initially when I was young, and it morphed into something that was more about public space and outdoors, and my dad was a forester, and it was always outside, and there was this kind of connection to what he was doing, and so I, I think in terms of materials, like landscape architecture is very different than architecture. You're able to use natural materials, and I think that that's kind of where I drew some of uh, inspiration from and it's always been a motivator. I, I'm not sure if there's any reason why other than it's just kind of inherently what I like to do. And it's, it's a lot of fun, it's very rewarding and uh, it's, you know, when you can see a project built or the influence of the work that you do on the way people behave, that's really rewarding, yeah. <laughs>